guys how's it going thank you for stopping by today i bring you outside today is fourth of july and um i'm getting everything prepared we're gonna have a good cookout kids are coming over and omega's there observing whatever she's going to attack and today's fourth of july wanted to do my video outside just to um wish you guys everybody has a good a good holiday be safe out there and I want to talk about today oh, that one watch that made you fall in love with watches. That one watch that uh, that gave you, that brought you into the um, I I into the hobby. You know, it doesn't have to be an expensive watch. For me, it wasn't an expensive watch. For me, it was it was a watch I received in parts. I, I've been dealing with watches for a long time, but I, I I never felt the need to collect a watch. I need to keep a watch. I wore a watch for a week and then I disposed of it. I sold it. I, you know, I, I, it, I could never call anything mine because I was just in the wheeling and dealing in the flipping business. So when I got this watch, um, I'll show it to you guys. I got this watch and um, and I liked it so much, and I was so tired of working with watchmakers that uh, this is one of the watches that got me not only into collecting but into working with watches that got me into into uh, wanting to um, to have watches to to collect and and into into wanting something of my own. So guys, I'm going to show you the watch and hopefully you enjoy it. And also, there is still time for the giveaway. We're we're approaching the 4,000. We still have time for that giveaway. So uh, just comment here, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, you will be in in the in the raffle for that Hillbros. That, uh, that I'm going to be giving away the day I hit my 4,000 uh, sub. So, guys, again, be safe out there, and hopefully you enjoy this. So, guys, this is the watch I'm talking about. It's an old SADA chronograph. Like I told you guys, this watch I got in a box, and I bought it because I needed parts. But I was so tired of taking watches to the watchmaker, and uh, first of all, he was far away and um it, it was it was highly inconvenient for me to uh start going i had an idea of what of watches i had an idea about dealing with them but i didn't have i had no idea about working on them so this is this watch when i received it i received it in a box uh with everything everything or most of it taken apart and um i i dove into it i dove into it and um as you can see it's it's in pretty bad shape I did the I did the dial cleaning. I'll link a video how I clean my dials. I'll I'll link it up here so you could see uh, how I do my dials. This is one of the dials that I had to uh, go through a cleaning, and it came out pretty decent. It's got some spots, but overall pretty decent. And um, I don't wear it that often because it has like a 10-12 hour power reserve. But overall, it's such a beautiful watch, and. What I like about it is that it is a oversized watch. Well, at least oversized for the time. Let's see how big it is. It is a 36 millimeter without the crowns. So with that big crown sticking out and the uh, pushers, it, it, it looks really nice and really comfortable and big in the, on the wrist. And today being the 4th of July, I'll do a wrist check. I usually don't do these because it's somebody else's, but I'll do one. I'm wearing my red, white, and blue, my uh, my Seiko Patty. Love this watch. And to celebrate 4th of July, I'll be wearing this watch today. So, just one. Let me show you the movement of this watch. So, this watch cases a Lander on 48. Normal Lander on 48, nothing special. But look at that movement. Is that not nice? And this watch was done, I want to say, five, six years ago, a long time ago. And it's been running strong ever since. So that's why I have so much sentimental attachment to this watch. And it's one of the ones that whenever I pull it out from the roll, it brings me memories and I'll have to wear it for a few days. Just a beautiful, beautiful movement. I often get asked, what are you doing on your bench? So I'll show you guys. Today, I'm encapsulating a few 
coins. Whenever we do a, a show, these are really good because they will they will attract people and they're always they're always good for for you know just just a comment piece. They're not expensive. They don't bring a lot of money, but they do bring in they do bring in the uh, the people to the showcase. And once they're there, you know we could start talking about watches or we could start. Uh, talking about any other piece of jewelry that I have there so for all you guys wondering what I do and my today I'm not working on watches today I'm working on uh, encasing and and looking up some of these old coins that I had laying around so guys again I want to thank you for stopping by um, thank you for subscribing thank you for all your support and be safe out there and leave me your comments what was that watch that uh, that got you into the hobby big time what was that watch that got you into the the it i i want to have one for me only but you know a, a lot of you guys probably never wore a watch in, or, or older age so so it, something made made you click something made made that wanting to have a watch you know uh click in you and and to say you know what i'm gonna start this collection so what was it what was the watch price doesn't matter okay guys Guys, thank you for stopping by again, and I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you, guys.